performing strategic assessment, calculating, calculating, human fleets stand victorious on all fronts. Our strength is unmatched. Naval expansion unnecessary. Recommend denial of all requisition requests. New information received. Recalculating. Recalculating. Artifact identified in Ronan system. Purpose undetermined. Origin undetermined. Hostile potential confirmed. Proximity to human space unacceptable. Error. Error. Lacking protocol to address threat. Reverting to basic analysis. Recommendation to Admiralty. Significant naval expansion now urgent. Hello guys and welcome back to Star Drive with the Black Box and Combined Arms mods. So, we've got a major threat. Uh, the Remnants have some kind of portal and um, we sent a uh, little scout ship to uh, investigate and it was vaporized in seconds. So, I did have a comment on the last video from H, uh, H3, shout out to him, uh, that instead of sending one streamer, what I should do is actually send uh, send two of them. <laughs> they might do the job. Um, so, um, actually, that is uh, that might actually be what i do. Were they the best ones? I think they were the best ones because they've got the little, um, uh, little sensors on them. So I am actually going to send two strimmers, and um, what I want to see, because I think I think our last one just basically arrived a bit close and was wiped out. If we just stay a bit further away, is there um is there a range on that thing, or are we vaporized pretty much as soon as we enter that system? Do we have any tactical options here? So on the second fleet, sorry, the first fleet. Let's just tell all these guys to go back, rearm, repair. We've managed to secure the strength system nicely. Um, what's, yeah, that's a Vulfa. Um, ooh, another pirate. So they, yeah, they do respawn. Okay, uh, and that means we've got to keep squishing them. So we'll we'll task the first fleet to take care of them. Uh, one of our ships has been boarded. Yeah, okay. And um, so what I'm thinking, guys, is first of all, I want to just have another look at that um, that remnant. Uh, there we go. We've got both of them. So let's just grab one of them. And I want you to come down here. And uh, the other one. I want you over over here. Um, so what I'm thinking is that we need to build a massive fleet to go and have a pop at that, 600,000 shields, um, you know. So in doing that, I want to just work out by sending these little guys whether it's got, um, you know, a maximum sort of, well, it must have a maximum range. And then um, perhaps we can look at maybe researching, you know, long-range missiles or artillery or something to kind of lay siege to it, really, rather than trying to batter through. Um, but who knows, we may have to batter through. Um, I'm going to upgrade my Sparta design, but I'm just going to wait for the, the composite alloys to be researched, and we'll put a load of composite alloy on the, the front of uh, one of them, I think, and upgrade the um, upgrade the guns, because um, we researched improved uh, auto turrets last time, so I'll hopefully give them more punch. Oh, what's going on here? Um, Opterus have captured that world from the from the polyps. It's uh, yeah, nice to, nice to see them uh, succeeding. It would be against the polyps. So the polyps, I think, have um, pretty much wiped out the uh, the Volfa. Um, oh, as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, the Volfa counter attack. Right, our all um, streamers are about to. Um, to arrive. So let's manage to get here in one piece. And he's managed to arrive there in one piece. 
So it's not like as soon as we get there we're, we're vaporized, but it's um, so we're still pretty far out. So let's uh, let's go in a little bit closer. Okay, we can see it now. How uh, was that streamer already been wiped out? Gosh, that was quick. We come a little bit closer. Uh, right, so obviously it's got a little little guard there. Ah. What? What the hell got my what? Oh, guys! <laughs> hmm. What if we? What if we send a listening post sort of halfway? Can we? Can we maybe spy on it from a distance? Let's let's try that strategy. Um, hmm. <laughs> do we do we have the technology, you know, with uh, with cruisers to actually take this beast on? Um, I do not know. But it's um, it's what I'm going to do, I think, because we've managed to basically uh, sort of conquer our little corner. Of space, yes. There's that one Vulfar planet there, um, which is a fairly decent one for the Vulfar. Thirteen people they could potentially have on there. But um, I think if we ever went to war with the Vulfar, we could uh, we could munch it pretty pretty quickly. Oh, great! We've just got uh, the composite alloys research. Where? What should we do next? So, you see, what I was um, wondering was whether. Uh, whether if we went for something like subspace artillery, we could park a cruiser loaded with these things at a distance from the um, from the portal and just you know shell the crap out of it. Let's let's go down that route. You know, when faced with an enemy that we don't understand, um, big guns, more guns, big guns. That is that is the answer, surely. Oh, so we're about to see whether our <laughs> little listening post will will uh, be constructed and actually survive. I'm not sure if we'll have actually the the sight radius. They may have come a bit too far out, a little bit overly cautious, perhaps. Yeah, it's obviously building. Ooh, another. Let's um, let's go take care of that pirate base. So where's the first fleet? The first fleet, yeah, the pirate base was there. So let's come to Minota One first, I think. Oh, it's quite the it's quite the Volfar force there that took uh, recaptured that planet. And okay, yeah, we've so we've got um, we've got uh, sort of sight. Um, we obviously need so it comes out about here. So let's uh, let's send another one a little bit closer, just a little bit. Um, so listening post. Why don't you? Uh, let's let's risk it. Let us risk it. They're very cheap. Deliberately so. So okay, guys. Uh, now that I've um, out with that, I want to upgrade my cruisers. So let's go into the shipyard, and I want to load the uh, the Sparta class. So let's load that bad boy. Now then, we got better turrets. Now the only thing better than two big guns is three big guns, um, and so on. So, uh, currently we kick out 258 damage per second. These bad boys will do 370. Is there a range difference? 4,500 against 4,000. So yeah, these are pretty pretty good. Um, 
Still can't shoot fighters, but that's okay. Um, obviously take up more ordnance, but we, we absolutely jam-packed this with ordnance. I'm, I'm relaxed about that. Why can't I replace... Why can't you... Oh, because it's actually a slightly bigger turret. Oh, I'd have to have a drawback, I suppose. Well, that's okay, because they were... Um... And why can't I put you... Oh, because it needs to be on the outside. Oh, you do have drawbacks. You do. Oh, yeah. Buggers. Right. We um, thought we got some other weapon as well at the same time. Um, maybe that was for a different type of ship. Yeah, I'm sure when we researched auto turret, there was a different uh, different type. Okay, so we can't have can't have them there. Could we? Oh, we've got different shields now. Mm, so these are class. Oh, maybe something like that. What's their sh shield strength? Twenty four thousand. Whereas you're just hmm. Okay, so we might be doing a redesign of the whole front of this ship, actually. Uh, let's go like that. Stick, um, stick those guns there. And ideally I want another, another two. Can I go for another two? No. Um, you've got to come back a bit. Oh, that's going to then fuck up the, the next lot. Um, ooh, conundrums. And you are my flak, so I don't really want to lose flak. Okay, let's uh, let's reinstate everything. Because this is, um, I thought I would just be able to slot the these on top. Um, so yeah, I can't have those. Um, Okay, let's um, let's exit out of this because another option would be let's have a look at because um, I just think with the with the frigate construction it unlocked the next level unlocked this heavy gumbo which was a bit of a fatter boy than the um, than the earlier model so will this be oh this is actually a light cruiser it's not a frigate how much is that fifteen hundred. Oh, sorry. Oh, this needs a cruiser, Benjamin. Um, but it's a light cruiser. Oh, I don't know if I want light cruisers. What are these? Just a cr battle cruiser. Ooh. Hmm. So how much is all of that? That's going to be 3,000. Well, that's the same as my sub subspace artillery. So let's ditch that artillery for a moment. And we'll go on to cruiser 2. And then we'll do a big redesign. Sorry, guys. That was a bit of a... Um, Bit of a dead end there, but that's sometimes what you have when it comes to um, comes to sort of research and development. Now then, I will, however, based on the current Sparta class we have, because they're not useless, um, and in particular the Athens class may not be useless, I want to start to build... Uh, actually, let's have... we'll go with four of them right now. And uh, carriers, my Athens, will go with four of them as well. And let's just start to build up a um, a new fleet. And the third fleet will be a very heavy one that uh, one day may have the firepower to take on that uh, that remnant portal. But who knows? So the first fleet's coming over here. There's a lot of blue over here. Oh, it's because they've got one of my freighters. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, slavers as well. These are drog slavers. They're not just pirates, guys. They're they're slaving pirates. We really must exterminate them. I'm also um, going to put some subspace projectors here, just so that we get. Nice uniform blue across our uh, our holdings. There we go. Just paint the paint the gaps. Uh, 
How's the first fleet? So the first fleet, yeah, is still moving along. Uh, the second fleet is still at um, still at Rona One, and I'm a little bit reluctant to. Um, oh, that's not our world. Okay, come out of that, please. Mm. So um, struck by a meteor. Now then, Rona One. Okay, uh, right, it's, it's building a lot of the Sparta because um, she's obviously a, a pretty, uh, pretty useful planet. Um, so we'll leave. Oh, hey, we did, we did get our uh, listening post. So it's got a little sort of support garrison. Well, they're not going to do too much. It's this bad boy. Oh my God, we can zoom in and have a look. Ah, right, so we've researched that subspace artillery. Now, let's just pause so we don't all throw up. Um, now, I'm sure you, you know, many of the people watching this will have the uh, the knowledge to know, oh, those are those particular guns. I am going to clue. They look pretty badass. Maybe they, oh, look at these. Look at the size of these. Maybe they're, what took out my little strimmers. So they're going to have quite the range. Maybe outranging is not the, um, is not the way to go. Um, hmm, okay. Maybe we just have to go with brute force. Uh, Vulfa capturing from the polyps. Oh gosh, so the, the polyps uh, thought we're gonna squeeze the Vulfa out of this um, area, but. Um, They've, um, why did it tell me that? Did I queue it up? I mean, I'm happy that these building gun batteries, but I don't want to be told about all of them. Um, maybe I, I can't remember queuing that one up. Anyway, so the Vulfar then are, have, having been sort of kicked out of this area, or looked like they were going to be kicked out, they've sort of been resurgent. And, um, let's just have a look at how they are strength-wise. So I'm numero uno. The Vulfar then, let's have a look at military strength. Number four, polyps three. So the polyps are actually stronger based on this assessment. Um, they must have better intelligence than us as well, because our um, we just don't seem to know much about them at all. Hmm. Let's have a look at espionage. Oh yeah, we we're pretty we're pretty crap on espionage, aren't we? Let's uh, train this guy up, and also uh, Jack Andre, and uh, let's uh, recruit some more as well. The Opterists seem to have pretty poor spy defense. We could go and uh, take them out. Right, the first fleet has arrived down here, so you boys. Uh, yeah, move into about here. And, um, okay, the Cordazine captured world from the Opterus. Let's, um, yeah, let's make the jump. Okay, here we are. Now then, what's the? Gen I wonder what generally is the best way. I mean, it's something I got to learn, I suppose. Is it better to just you know jump your fleet in close and then they seem to target the threats around them? You know, um, you know, do they maintain formation? I mean, I could, I could, I could obviously put them into maintain formation, but that would be quite rigid, I think. So this, they seem to be working quite well here. The Sparta. That's it. Come up a bit close so you can use your, use your big guns. And there is a hail of bullets. Yeah, I love, love the PG. I'm quite glad I uh, designed them that way to be heavy, heavy PG. Well, they do have a, a ship helping them. Sparta is moving closer, taking some... Uh, Taking some fire, actually. And opening up 
up with its uh, its main guns, oh, which do a lot of damage. One of our ships has been boarded by the drone. Oh god, are they boarding our military ships? That is unacceptable. Is that a drone? Did they board a drone? Oh, poor drone. Um, don't really know why I have sympathy for a drone. By their very nature, they have no feelings, but there we go. Um, what was over here? Hmm. I would think... He's gonna be. Is he gonna be wiped out? Yeah. What's who, who's it? Name is the planet missile batteries on the planet. God, it's a large salvo. Oh, he's got. Yeah, he's well armored, aren't they? Maybe I should. Um, maybe I should armor up a bit more. I'm very, uh, very shield heavy right now. Yeah, perhaps my ships are just, um, you yeah, know, they're, they're a bit too reliant perhaps on one line of defence, and that is the shields. How do we, how do we take you out? Hmm. Yeah, uh, okay, so we're, we're not a million miles away from getting that next level of cruiser, so we can take a look at that uh, that layout, uh, but it might be the one beyond that we need. Where are these guys? Oh yeah, it's just my old, uh, my old Hectors there. Right, you, you must be going to or from somewhere. Oh, all the way, all the way out there somewhere. Hmm. Do we really want to be poking around? Oh gosh. Um, so Andre, better training, training. Good, good, good. Right, so we should be a little bit better on the espionage. But for four, gosh, we're not very. Really, are not very good. Let's let's train these guys up. Splash a tiny bit of cash. Oh, the Velfa! Oh gosh, the Velfa are um, kicking ass. And in fact, I think there is. A, I don't know if we'll be able to see it. Oh, we can! Look at the Velfa! Look at them swarming! Oh, the vicious and brutal pack. Definitely playing as the Velfa in my next playthrough. Yeah, and they got it. With the Velfa, is it not? Perhaps this is just me. A little bit reminiscent of the old Thundercats kind of symbol. Anyway, um, many people will not know what I'm on about. Oh, they're bombing the planet. Oh, the dirty, dirty Velfa. Love it. Anyway, so how is how is that third fleet coming along? So it's got three cruisers, and uh, right, so we've now got our next level of cruiser. Let's have a look in the shipyard at what we've got here. What are our options? So that was our first one, and now we've got this bad boy, oh, which has these uh, lovely kind of uh, sort of wings to it. Um, a little bit Galactica reminiscent there, you know, with the big pods on the side where the uh, Vipers launch from. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Um, and how many, how many auto to, oh, I don't know. I don't know, lads. Let's, let's leave it. Let's leave it until the next one, which is, it won't take us a million years. So, okay, guys, this could be quite a quiet episode, I'm afraid, after all that, uh, after all that build up, but um why why is why is uh why is this flashing? What is what's the issue? Is there a fight going on? Doesn't seem to be. The Volfa have taken another world from the polyps though by the look of it. Where was that? 
Uh, yeah, surely the polyps will not be will not survive much longer in this system. Uh, strength four. Ooh. Okay. Polyp forces. Are we are we actually still at war with the polyps? You know, they've been so so crap. I've actually forgotten that we're at war with them. Here they come. Uh, uh, they could be fighting the Volfa, though, in fairness, actually. <laughs> just, let, just let them do what they want to do. Uh, first fleet. Should we bring the first fleet north out of an abundance of caution? Let's let's do it. Let's just let's just err on the side of caution. Don't want any polyps attacking my uh, attacking my world. Hmm. So I did read a message, something about this actually dropping down in strength, or at least the force surrounding it drops in strength, or something like that. Hmm. Okay, shit is going down. It's an invasion fleet. They've decided to stop off in my world, but I think they're actually going for. The Vulfa world? I can only I can only guess. Uh, the Vulfa. Oh well look look what you've done, Polyps. Look what you've done. You've oh. I an mean, attack is the best form of defense, but still. Don't like split up kind of half attack me when you're gonna get mullered by my defense batteries. Oh, we didn't need the first fleet, did we? Oh, those, uh, that's a Guardian battery. Love it! So did any polyps ships actually arrive? I mean, it'd be quite good if they took um, this one from the Volfer, actually, because then I could just take it off the um, take it off the polyps, but they've kind of got snagged up in my world, where they're getting... Uh, yeah. Getting taken out. And these guys are what? Are these these are the hopeful ones. Gosh, they're my first design. And here comes the first fleet, like overkill. But um, as Niccolo uh, Machiavelli said, "Never do your enemy a small injury." Uh, you tr fail to learn anything useful. Ugh. So, okay, that bit of drama is over. Did, did any polyp ships arrive? Hmm. So much for the mighty polyp empire. There's a risk that the old Vulfur are going to munch everybody, actually. If I'm, if I'm friendly with them, I'm not doing anything about their expansion. Uh, polyp, oh, hey, hey, polyps. Tremble at their mighty armada. Ah, uh, yeah, they've gone there. They got no chance of taking on the the Volfa. <laughs> I do like the flamethrowers. <laughs> plasma, plasma thrower it is. Uh, The Volfa designs are pretty, pretty ugly, aren't they? They're kind of just like lumpy, lumpy blocks of metal. Definitely playing as them. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're gonna try and take out this bloody, bloody portal first. Um. So, what is going on here? Anything much? Yeah, building me an Athens. Good lads. Uh, so the Volfa captured yet another world from the Polyps, and indeed it looks like they're invading here. Ah, oh, the swarm. The wolf pack. Devours all. Don't go devouring any of my stuff, though. Or you'll be neutered. Uh, oh, so close, so close. We'll just wait for this to research, guys, and then I'll take a look at um, at that. 
<laughs> one, one survivor. Yes. Go tell. Go tell your friends. Or oh, actually, you may not survive because you may get caught. Ah, I clicked the wrong bloody button. Sorry, guys. Um, caught in the gravity well. He is caught in the gravity well. Uh, yeah, I'm cool with that. I did. I did kind of ask you for that a little while ago, and you weren't so big on the idea. But um, oh hum. Oh, what's this? This is a home defense level fighter. Oh, there, well, there's more polyps. Are these are these troop transports? Oh, if only you'd had those troops on your own world. There's a pot the Vata of just um the Volfer just absolutely mulled you. Uh right, cruiser hulls too. Great, let's uh, let's pause. And um research then. Oh, looking at those big guns on um on uh that portal. I Oh, so that's 45k. Wow. Anyway. Um, yeah, the big guns on that portal. I just don't know whether we'll succeed. Um, let's, um, let's invest a little bit in our economy. And then we'll go to... We'll, we'll, we'll see whether we can go to artillery. Right, let's take a look at um, the battle... Oh! Hello, Moto. Yes, this is more like it. Let's... Uh... Oh, yes. Guns for everybody. This is absolutely more like it. Um, oh, I've got to zoom in. Like, this. Oh, there's so much... Let's get rid of the uh, let's get rid of the overlay. Oh, she's a beast. She is a beast. Lovely. Right. Um I tell you what, guys, I will I'll end the video here just because it's gone on a little bit. And the next video is gonna be a design video where I basically just just ogle the beauty of this uh, what will become a fabulous engine of death. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the content, guys. If you have, do, do like and subscribe. And um, your comments continue to be very, very welcome. Thanks very much. See you next time.